Hi, we have a question from Mr. Sin. He wants to know how do you use, uh, how do you create split walls without using precast tool in Revit here? Okay, so we're gonna work to walk through this. This is the old school way we, we used to do it before they had the precast. So we go to wall here. You can use that. It, we'll just use any wall. We'll just go and create a shape like this. Not too big. Nah, something like that. So now all you have to do is go in here and you want to take the uh, under modify. You want to use the split wall tool with gap and you select that and here I've got it already set at three quarters because I've dragged this and then you just go here and you just go. So these panels are going to be about eight feet or seven nominal eight feet I would say. Then you just go another one here. You can just slide it right over and just pick, split these walls up. Now you can modify these walls, chain them to insulate it or whatever you want to do. I've got a video that shows you how to do that. Uh, we, and then we'll go here and maybe we want to split it right at the edge there. And then same thing over here. Let's see where we are. We just want to Split it at the edge or whatever. Here we go. Let me join that. Let's undo that one. We might have to do something else there. So the same thing here. You will just go split. And we'll split another whatever maximum length is. So that will be 7-11. And here we'll just make this 3 for 6. So what has to happen now, you can grab these guys and you can make this 7-Eleven. Okay, so you can do that and then now we want to go and finish these off here. Uh, make our 8 foot again, a 7-Eleven rather, or 8 foot nominal with a 3 quarter inch gap. 7-Eleven, uh, here's another nominal eight and this one hmm. so we might have to do some adjusting here to get these in good but this is uh this is the how you used to do it now the precast tool kind of does this for you but I mean you know it's up to you I, I I've done this well I've got a video out there of me doing this so normally this is going you don't want to go up to a minimum we want to go at least a four foot minimum here and then we'll go, we'll just go K okay here. Now there are all our walls and we might need to fix this here. That's 7-Eleven, that's good. This is, so you can adjust this. So I'm gonna go make this 7-Eleven as well. Now the engineering group might have an issue with this. So this will have to be adjusted and fitted in. So now let's go look at our 3D view. So there's our walls. Now what we can do, we can even grab this one. We can adjust these walls as singular as they are. So I'm gonna just pull this one up. This is gonna be our opening here. And there you go. So I'm gonna put this in shaded view. So you can see. So there's our wall panels using just walls. Now the, the, now the connections between the walls uh, you just probably need families, and I got some over here I had. So normally uh, here on the face, on the front, we use mid-B connectors. So I'm going to go and uh, pick a face here. And these guys would go right about here. And make this uh, hidden line so I think we can see this better. Yeah, there we go. And then this one will just mirror the other side of him. If I can do it this way. Um, let me just cheat on this a little bit. Nope, that's not going to work. It's probably best to do that in elevation view. So uh, I'll get my other families in here, and then you're going to need something like this to support the top one. But let's go on elevation here and straighten this out. So that would be my south. So we can fix this. So this probably will go up a little higher here. And they might have three equally spaced. So I'm just copy this one. 
I don't know. I'm just so we want to go one there. And we want to push this one up a bit. Oh gosh. But this is just well, let me just run through this right quick so we can get it done here. And we have this one here, right, right about there in the center, and then one at the bottom. But these are vector connectors, what they do at all, they, I've always seen them. And then here, we want to align these guys. You should have did the one first. And I want to align this one. I don't know why that's doing that, but. Excuse me. Let's move this over to there. And then now I want to grab these guys and I want to just mirror them across. Uh, let me put a detail line here. Just so I can. Let's drop a little detail line right about there. Let me say, what's this distance? This distance here. Close enough for what I'm doing. So I'm going to go select all these vec vector connectors here. And I'm going to mirror them. So that's, that's the vector connector for these wall panels on this side. So now what we got here, um, we want to copy these guys over right here. This one there. I should have done multiple. Uh, copy these here. Strain multiple and I'll go from here over to right there. Okay, so now these would be a special connection because these walls here are suspended. There's no really no base support. So what we do is here, we would use one of these guys here. It would be a gravity, what they call gravity connection, and he'll place it right here. And go back into that elevation view. I'm gonna put this in a wireframe so I can see it. And I'll just copy these over. To there. Now you won't need them here, I don't think, depending on the engineering. So uh, let's take this in the 3D view. So that's what we got. So that's how you do the wall connections. And this goes all the way around. So, hey, uh, Mr. Cyan, I hope this helps. Uh, just wanted to show you how we would do this. So, you have, I got these families. If you need them, I'll be happy to let you use them or borrow them or whatever. <laughs> so, hey, thanks for watching my video. And again, if you any subscribers of mine, you get help in, at, within the next day of can. Uh, so I'm not sleeping. So hey guys, thanks for watching. And then the same thing goes back here. You know, you just go in and bring in your, your mid-B connector. <clears throat> I'm gonna go architecture component, place component. And I should have, okay, that's something else here. It's going on properties. Um, and you wanna go with our, a lot of stuff in here. Our MIDI V, and they will go just drop it in there, boom. And then the other side, boom. So that's how you do this. Uh, I got other videos to show you in more in detail, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Everybody, be safe and please subscribe. Helps me make videos like this every day. Thank you. Bye.